I made you something special to celebrate. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it? I need some good news after another day at work. Oh, maybe that sucks. Hey. I got you a PS5. Seriously? Yeah. I know how much you've been wanting to try it. I mean, you went out and wasted the money on that? No, no, no. You know how much I'm struggling right now. Oh, don't worry, babe. I saved up. Oh, so you're saying that I'm a loser and that I can't buy anything myself. No, I just know you've had a couple of months and I thought this might cheer you up. Now you'll expect me to go out and buy you something. <sighs> just great. Way to try to make me feel better. I'm sorry, I guess I didn't think it through. Forget it. What was that news that you were gonna share? Oh, yeah. I, I got promoted to CFO at my firm. I'm gonna get a massive raise, and we can finally talk about moving out of this place. Wow. I know, I'm so glad you're happy. I'm shocked. <laughs> Me too, but I just couldn't wait to tell you. No. I mean I'm shocked that you're tired of this house that we purchased together. What I earn and what I do doesn't make you happy enough so you have to go and get a promotion. No, but I wanted this for both of us. I mean, we talked about getting a bigger place before we had kids. I'm so tired of you constantly trying to sabotage my manhood. I work so hard and put in so much effort into what I do, and yet you always put me down. No, baby, I'm so proud of you. I really am. I mean, I tell my family all the time that you're, you're such a hard worker and such a supportive husband. Oh, so you tell your family that I'm just your support? Oh, God, it's just all coming out wrong. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. No, you're right, you're right. Let's, uh... Let's talk about this tomorrow. I'll make you some dinner. No, I mean I can't do this marriage anymore. What? I'm done with you always making me feel lesser than in everything that you do. I'm sorry, look, you've had a bad day and I probably haven't done anything to make it better. You're not thinking straight. No, I'm done with your attitude. This promotion is just another way of you demeaning me. Okay, okay. I, I wouldn't even take the promotion if, if that makes you feel better. Oh, so you can go out and say how much you've sacrificed for us? How much you've given up of your life for us? How much you hate this house? How you've purchased these ridiculous gifts for me? And then you go and tell your family that I've gotten you nothing? No. You know what? I'm leaving. I'll be back to pick up my things later. No, David, wait! David! <sighs> oh. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> great people. They are great people. Yeah, let's come back <laughs> again. Well, does it? Uh... Charlotte? David? Oh, wow. David. What? Oh, this is my husband, Daniel. Um, we were just having lunch with a friend. What a coincidence. I work for her. Oh, really? Oh, hey, sweetie. Uh, I'll meet you in the car. I, I gotta take this work okay, call. Sure. Okay, babe. Thank you. I'll be right there. All right. Nice meeting you. Wow. You look... Stunning as ever. Thank you. <laughs> How have you been? Actually, Charlotte, I've been miserable since our divorce. I made some really bad choices with other people, and no other woman has been able to compare to what you've made me feel. David, I, I don't know what to say. Say that you'll give this another chance. No. I'm sorry, it's too late. Look, I know that you hate me right now, but I can't believe that I let you walk out of my life. I don't hate you, David. If anything, I'm grateful to you. I wouldn't have taken that promotion. I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, I mean, you can still achieve all of those things. 
and it will be great with me coming in to live with you. It'll be a lot better than me living on my broken down car. David, I really do appreciate you not holding me back when you could have. But I'm with Daniel now and he supports me in being the best version of me. And he loves me. And I love him and our kids. I really do wish the best for you, David. And I hope you get what you need. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this video is spreading inspirational messages. Please remember to like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. So I just wanted to add in this quick clip to the end of this video. While the actor was on the Bobcat, that's the little tractor thing at the end of this video, he actually almost ran into me while I was holding the camera and the house. Luckily, it stopped just in time, but we wanted to show you that clip because the camera was rolling. It really probably won't see much out of it, but I thought it's a cool clip to just stick into the video.